Hey, my friend, this is Alicia. If we haven't met yet, I'm an Ayurvedic health practitioner. And this channel is all about learning Ayurveda and we go into Ayurvedic psychology and emotional depth work. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell icon because I upload videos every week and you'll get notifications of those. So today I wanted to talk about, you know, spring is upon us. This is uh, the river here in Southern Oregon where I live. Um, spring is upon us, ah, finally. Um, and so of course we start to experience this transition from these dense kind of stagnant winter months, cold winter months, and things start melting and moving as we transition into spring. And so naturally our, our palate is gonna change and our body's needs are gonna change. We're gonna become more, more active and engaged in life and our cravings for foods are gonna change into things that are gonna be more supportive for our systems to cleanse the things that it kind of stagnated and held on to over the winter. So this brings me to the question of, um, that I get from a lot of clients and a lot of students over the years, which is like, why am I not losing weight on my Ayurvedic diet? And most people have read on, out there on the internet that the Ayurvedic nutrition and Ayurvedic diet has its foundation in like kitchari, which is a, a combination of mung beans or some type of bean, lentil, legume, and rice. Kind of this kanji or porridge that is cooked in many different ways. And mung soup is very well understood to be a food of convalescence in, in India in where Ayurveda sprouted from and so I have lots of mostly Americans <laughs> that I consult with in my clients that will eat mung bean soup for example or kitchari for days weeks months I had one client come to me that said I've been eating mung bean soup as my primary staple for a year and I still haven't lost weight so what gives <laughs> like what's going on so there's two really important factors that I wanna share that are less common Ayurvedic perspectives when it comes to weight loss and cleansing. And I'm gonna go into way more detail in a live masterclass that I come, have coming up in the next couple of weeks. You can click the link below this video to register for the free masterclass where we'll dive into all of the details. But in this video, I just wanted to like open your eyes to see that if you're feeling stuck on an Ayurvedic kind of diet or what you think to be an Ayurvedic diet that mainly consists of kitchari or you've tried the kitchari cleanses before and they haven't worked for you, then there's something you need to know about your physiology. Now there's two factors and it goes beyond physiology. The first factor has to do with emotions and how our hidden emotions are preventing us from making habit change and also how they're keeping our physiology stuck. Now that's a topic that I love to go into. There's tons of other videos on this channel that you can learn about that. And I also have a guidebook in the links below this video that you can download that walks you through the hidden emotions. There's the eight hidden emotions, the categories, and how Ayurvedic psychology helps you unwind those so you stop sabotaging your actions and actually are able to get better results with your health transformation. Um, but then that brings us to the other one of these two points, which is, yeah, physiologically, there are foods that are important for you to include in your diet and that a lot of people come to me and they go, oh my gosh, I've been scared to eat fresh fruit, raw fruit. Oh, I've been scared to eat smoothies. I've been scared to eat salads. There's so much fear in the dogmas of how Ayurveda has been taught and quite frankly, misinterpreted quite a bit to the extent that people aren't able to get the results in their health and healing and transformation because they've been whittled down into fit inside this tiny little box that actually isn't giving their body the nutrients that they need. So for example, if you're a vata person and you think you're not supposed to eat a certain fruit because they say that that's bad for vata, 
well they're and you're but you crave it and but you're afraid you can't digest it uh, etc or it's going to make you bloated there's this psychological factor this fear factor that just increases vata and that makes it hard for you to digest but there's also this mental thing that comes into play that what if that apple for example is exactly the building block that your body is needing to do its next phase of cleansing or rejuvenating of your tissues and but you've boxed your mind in to such a degree that you're like I'm not allowed to eat that because I'm a fill in the blank vata person pizza person cuff a person so it leaves us feeling really confused information overload eating the wrong things eating out of alignment with our true nature and even that statement that I just said is like kind of dogmatic because we're led, we're led to believe in most of the online teachings of Ayurveda today that my true nature is this box, is this label, and I'm supposed to follow these regimented rules and guidelines. And at some point, if you're not getting the results, it's actually not working for you. And so we need to let go of some of the dogmas. So in the master class. Um, I'm going to go through uh, myth busting, breaking down some of these dogmas and showing you how for some people, for even some Vata people, raw foods are exactly the thing that they need for rejuvenation. Oh, can you believe it? Yes, I said it. There are certain aspects, certain things that you nutrients that you might need in a certain form. And we have to learn how to actually in a more refined way understand how to give our bodies the the micronutrients that it needs without overthinking it without um you know diagnosing all these different things so the there's this really cute little kid running through the park i got a little distracted hi <laughs> and um so where are we going with this? So basically the thing that I just wanted to convey to you in this video is just to help open your mind to the possibility that the way that Ayurveda was interpreted through an Indian bodied lens does not actually apply to all Western bodies, if you will, to American mixed ethnicity bodies. And the, if the kitchari and the mung soup, etc., aren't working for you, then there's actually um, a whole new realm of freedom and palate and texture and flavor and foods available to you that are actually going to help you get the results, that are actually going to help you lose the weight and help your body get deeply nourished. Because one of the reasons we actually hold on to excess weight is because we're not being deeply nourished. It's not just a calories in, calories out thing. There's an emotional thing where if the body doesn't feel safe, the nervous system is always dysregulated. It's going to hold on to fat as a protective layer. And then there's also the physiological side of that, which is if you haven't been nourishing your body in the way that it's actually craving, which I'll decode for you in the masterclass, all those details, how to actually nourish your body in the like deepest way and explore the unique right way for you but if you're you haven't been doing that and you've just been trying to lose the weight doing these cleansing methods then you're also not going to be able to lose the weight so join me for the master class and let's unpack more of these details for you if you're someone who just you know is ready and like wants to cut right through all the static and just have me tell you exactly what to do for you you can also book uh, a, a a personalized one-on-one -on -one cleanse program with me that can start immediately and so that'll also be linked below this video so we've got all the resources here for you um, but at the very least if you just want to learn more and start to unpack some of these dogmas and myths of Ayurveda when it comes to weight loss when it comes to cleansing when it comes to this spring cleanse time that we're about to enter into this new season then um, all those resources are there below this video so download the emotional healing guide uh, come join the master class coming up live coming up real soon or book a one-on-one -on -one personalized cleanse session with me and i'll tell you exactly what you need for you and i'll help you mainly with the mindset of like okay 
let's break down a lot of these barriers and be able to be free in our eating again. Because ultimately, the having the right aligned nutritional program for you that can flex and flow with the seasons um, that is fueled by your intuition and you understanding how to decipher and distinguish the nuance of what your body's really asking for in any given season or moment, this is where the magic is. And that is going to fuel your higher goals in life. And so that's where Ayurveda is really taking us to a higher, more beautiful state of wholeness, of groundedness, of connection to spirit, of connection to the very reason why you were put into this body on this earth at this time. So download the resources. Let's continue our conversation. I'm so happy to meet you here and I'll see you on the next video. Lots of love. Blessings. Adios.